In this video I'm going to discuss with you what I can say it's a big mistake when color grading with Filmora. But just like a trap. Could this be a trap? Each and every one of us, at one point or the other, fell for it. So color grading can be done to correct the color imbalances, addressing issues like white balance problems, and exposure inconsistencies in the original footage. They can bring up a certain cinematic scene that matches the story, or can color grade to convey certain emotions, also helping to tell their story. However, the big mistake is using the wrong tools on wrong purpose. So am I saying these are the tools for this purpose? Completely no. The issue is which tools are used in which stage of color grading. So we are going through that in the next few seconds. But for now, let's see the stages of color grading. So the first stage of the whole process is color correction. And this is where you must make sure that the footage appears as natural and unprocessed as possible, ready for grading. On the second stage, you will make global adjustments to alter the footage to tell a story, match a certain scene, or convey certain emotions. And on the last stage, more detailed adjustments are made to specific parts of the footage. In secondary color grading, the editor will isolate specific colors, highlights, shadows, and other areas of the footage and adjust them independently. I'm going to show you a perfect example of how to achieve this, without LUTs, but only after using each tool at the correct stage and for the correct purpose. So according to the current version of Wondershare Filmora, we use the Color tab, Light tab, and Adjust tab for the first stage of grading. So to figure this out, you just need to have the correct theory, as we have given it before, and know how each tool works. So it's a combination of understanding how tools work, and what is being done in each stage of grading. Okay, on the second stage, we use color tab, light tab, color wheels, and curves. So depending on how the tool works, it can be used at different stages. Just like the color tab, it can be used to balance the footage for a natural look, which is the first stage, color correction. And it can also alter the footage to a specific scene, which is the second stage. So in the third stage, we need curves and HSL. So the allocation of these tools depends on how each tool works, which can vary according to the software you are using. Now let me show you how you can use this knowledge to get the best results in less time. So I have this image that you have seen in the preview. So the first thing is that the colors of this image are all correct. And that means we're not going to use the color tab. But at the same time, it's a little noisy. And that means we have to work with our light tab. Right here, I will slightly increase my exposure and then reduce the brightness. Increase the contrast. Then reduce highlight, shadow, white, and black with different values all accordingly. After that, I will move on to the second stage, and for that, I will use the wheels. Here I'm going to reduce the level of shadows without selecting any color. Then, without selecting any color, reduce the highlights. So after that, I will move straight to the third stage, which is so important when color grading images like this. So our closest friend in this regard is HSL. So the first thing is, we want to pop up this jacket, and for that, we will select this color here. So here I increase the hue and saturation. And on the next color, I reduce the hue, increase the saturation, and reduce the luminance. Now let's consider the green portion showing in the background of our subject. So for that, we utilize the green color channel. Reduce the hue, increase the saturation, and then reduce the luminance. It's still not enough, so we will use the curves to do the rest. Here I will use this tool to select the portions I want to adjust, and then the curve will automatically put a control point exactly where I must adjust. So that means I must increase the highlights of the green color channel. I will also add another color channel to add some balance. Here I will add one point here, one in the middle, and one here, and then do this.
There you go. So this video is just a teaser guys, but I have the ultimate, complete guide on how to color grade. Explaining what color grading is and how we really use curves, with all the demonstrations and examples you need to understand. So you can freely click on this video over here to get what you need to know.